occasion we are about to start the program please have your seat I know we are here to support the presidential bid of ambassador Joseph Newman Bwaka right and we have a different intention we go and sleep. Opposition, if you have a double intention, rather than the intention to support the presidential bill of Ambassador Joseph Newman Baga, please go and sleep. Because any attempt to destroy this program, it will not be good for you. So you can go and tell a play master, or whosoever send you, that the play, there's no space. Coco Menta! 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 I beg you, please. All right, today, on this date, Patricia and Associate United to support Ambassador Joseph Newman Baka Presidential Bay, Monovia Liberia District 13 on Iron Factory Football Field. We want to take this time to work on every meaningful Liberia to this all-important program. Other of the program, we got no men of religion silent. Thank you. Let's see on our agenda. We got introduction of the program by Habiba Swari. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable President and Nikomi President of the Republic of Liberia. Members of the Unwary Unreliable United Party, members of Fatu and Associates, people of Iron Fadre, Banners Hill, Banners Hill, Checkers and all participating communities, youth, women and men, one and all. This unique occasion in history has recorded when it includes performances, speeches, and briefings of it. Ambassador Joseph Baga to, to deliberate on his achievements and planning and pretending plans for Liberia after being 
elected as president on November 7, 2017. This program, this program was organized by Sales Fatu Sila and our collaborative partners who are the main necessary players from past present performances, including, including future plans for Liberia to support and pleasure of Jose and Brother in this one of election. Ladies and gentlemen, your program. Jose, I will let the weather all of my territory Jack. Thank you. to recognize our ambassadors, I can refer to them as that, uh, in all of the 20 electoral districts in uh, Mosaro County. So I will start by recognizing uh, the people from Carway, uh, from Kami, and then uh, our group from, uh, from Waterside. And the Banabe Estate Group. I really did not see that talking, but I just had to lie. I was trying to see that one of the things that I was doing. There you go again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, the Ghana State Group. Uh, the group of Jacob Stan. The New Georgia Group. I have found your community. To other uh, opposition political parties, the ANC, the ALP, the, uh, the, uh, the liberal, all liberal parties, etc., etc. Et <laughs> all right, and also I would like to recognize the Islamic Youth for Intellectual Change. I am Patrick. And also forget about partners for the, the election of Honorable Joseph Newman Quarter and. So I represent the Emmanuel Nukwe. 
As I, as I look at Ambassador Joshua Yuma Boga, what I see him is this. I see him peace, stability. I see him patriotism, nationalism, development, religious tolerance, gender and travel balance. I, saw, I also see him the love for country. And the most important thing I also see him right now is the fear of God. So, I believe so much that Ambassador Yuma Baka is a God saint. He's a heavy saint. So, you know what it means to reject somebody that has been sent by you to you by the Almighty God, right? The consequence is showing that you and myself cannot bear. So we cannot bear that all. Ambassador Yuma, Joseph Yuma Baka is, has come, God has sent out to, to him to, I mean him to us, so that we can maintain the peace, the stability, the development, the religious uh, tolerance, the peaceful coexistence, and above all, the love for country. That what I see in him. And I also believe that everyone has seen us there, they are also seeing the similar thing in him. I have dealt with a lot of politicians, I have been, I have been seeing a lot of them, but the kind of the kind of two point that I see to the visual human pattern today, I have not seen any one of them. So the measure is now and clear. You can see the written all part of the body that you ready to develop the country, that you ready to develop the country, that you ready to be part of you, that you ready to be part of women, that you ready to create a social social benefit for our own people. But he understands what it means to be poor person, he understands what it means to be a struggler, he understands what it means to be levy or enter and uncle to go to school. I listened to him on Rode Monovia during the struggle days. And from that day to today, I believe in him and I know he can do what the Labron people need. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. I think the measure is loud and clear. We see peace, we see prosperity, we see development in our incoming president. And to maintain the peace and stability we all enjoy in this country is on November 7 to vote for Ambassador Joseph Nimon Baka. the program here today. It is because our strategic team went to the drawing board. They were not satisfied with the result, the automatic result from the identical community and district. That is why we go to our political Gaza room to go and talk to the very opposition, like the Liberty Party. I'm from the Liberty Party. Yeah. Yes, we now all know. And we all know people are. For some of us, we now all know. And I believe that none of you all know. And we now all know. That is why we talked to, we've been negotiating, since the October 10th, we've been negotiating with all our opposition, especially the Liberty Party, the AAP, the ANC, and we got very excellent group here from this major political institution today that make up this occasion. We have a program for the Liberty Party people, the program for the opposition, and I believe because some of us we made our mind, and the one or two folks that we got, that is why we decided to show to the United Party hierarchy and the president in waiting that we from the opposition block, especially me from the Liberty Party and my colleagues, we decide to embrace the occasion. 
So we will go to the program. We got a reframing statement by two of our beautiful sisters, Sis Marta Kuma and Sis Mayale Suarez. Alita, Alita, all right. 
our vice president is standing bearer of the United Party. Our honorable Makenele Tenba. Our honorable elect, my sister and friend, Maima. My auntie Fatu. The rest of the entourage. The AOP, the Liberty Party, the people of Iron Factory, our mothers, our sisters from Chocolate City, and all the other surrounding. It is a pleasure to be here today. I'm very happy to be on this occasion because this is a countdown to November 7th. Are you ready to make Jason Yuma Parker president? Are you ready to make Jason Yuma Parker president? Oh, say! Oh, say! Charger, charger, charger! Hey, I see, I can't hear you. See you. 
Zekwe! 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 Everybody, I just like you, my Zekwe! On the road there! Zekwe! Zekwe! Everybody, I just like you, my Zekwe! On the road there! Zekwe! Zekwe! Don't be Zekwe! Why are you here? Why are you here? Zekwe! I say all protocols there. Yes. We are here for a purpose. Yes. I wonder why people will fire themselves in the legs and they say they're doing it to the others. As the senator said, looking on the other side. Even those that were just inducted yesterday and led this country at the national legislature as a speaker for almost 10 years and was there to approve the budget and direct the course of the budget. And you are on the other side and say you are a clean person. That's a lie. I know some of them were at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And they saw the Nigerian passport yes. to foreign national for use amount of money. No, they are still staying sitting on the other side and say they are clean. Come on. Yes. I'm also seeing somebody who was the worst means and finance committee chairperson at the House of Representatives. And a lot of things went on. And he said sitting on the other side, and said he's a clean person. I said, ah, ah. Bravo, bravo. You have a reputable character, the ambassador, Joseph Yumabuaka. A humble person, a pen free character, who has served in both public and private sector with a very clear record. And you, that person has worked with Ambassador Joseph Yuma Baka, has worked with you. enjoy the comfort of his hospitality, the sincerity, being humble. And today you're on the other side because you want Liberia or Saddam. I said, that nah, you cannot get it. Yes, at the time, you know, when your son went to the car and damaged the only revenue corridor, major revenue corridor that we had at the time. When your son damaged it, and you say you took control of it, and your son is on the other side, just staring $3 million for to CDC today. Where you got that money from? We will not say yes to you. We say no to them. You cannot wreck the entire country because what you're trying to do here is to damage our country because you want to be me, the princess of Africa forever. We say, say no to that. We as Liberians, the Muslims and the Christians, that this country belongs to you. It is not time for you to come up and make sure you elect Ambassador Joseph Yubambara for the peace and stability of this country. Yes, yesterday, look at the group that went to attack Hema Costa. What Hema Costa did not say to Ambassador Joseph Yubambara? What you were concerned did not say to other people. What you did not say to other people. And because heaven concern had turned to throw the stone at you, you went to kill heaven concern. Many of them are expected to have it in this country if you embrace evil on your good. Which of course you know your ability that you cannot allow evil to be there over good. And who is the representative of that group? Ambassador Joseph Yuma Baka. Today we are here. I am from Nima County. And we have told people over the years, over and over. Because I know we have a lot of Nima citizens, even in Bosswano here. We have resisted the evil. 
They will not send the Korea were demonstrating yesterday against the evil. Today, only when they enter Sony Korea, only the motorcycles because they give them gas, they are the one that you know embrace in Nima. But it's not a true, you know, welcoming ceremony that took place in Nima. We have taken the course of action. We are now in the mantle of authority, and we will make sure that Nima can the fourth ambassador just in Nima Boka. Understand that if I supported you in your evil, 
he will support me too. But because he stood the cost to save our country, it's because he believed that we as Liberians, we as young people, needs to grow up and take the challenge, needs the advices of the older ones. He said, I will stand for Liberia. He said, I will think Liberia. I will love Liberia and I will build Liberia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why our own president, our incoming president, have said that he's going to think Liberia, love Liberia, and build Liberia? Somebody is saying my most important responsibility is to protect you. So I don't know. We as conscious minded people, that's one, we must think positive. Two, there's a quote unquote saying that young people, it is our time to lead. I always hear it. I don't disagree, but what I say is that young people always need the wisdom of the other ones. So if young people will preach against their father and their mother, you should understand that. I, as a Christian, as a Christian, you know what I say? Children, obey your parent in the Lord, so your days might be long on earth. People who wants to lead the country must respect the other ones. And I believe in the wisdom of Ambassador Joseph Mbapuata. I believe that this wisdom idea that he has brought to our country can lead our country, can take our country to where we want to see it. He can prepare the country for the next 6 to 12 years and then we as young people have to get prepared from calling issues of more discriminatory factors than they say that we are I don't understand. Even, even kids in ninth grades, kids in 12 grades, understand context of speeches when they are talking. It is time for us to think like we will love like we will like we will. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to present to you a father, a brother, the one who will be there to protect us as women, to protect us as men from the harm of other evil people. Yeah. Without saying much, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the next president of the Republic of Bureau, the President Joseph to be here to my
people are so sorry for about our young people. The young people who they seem to be confusing, thinking that this is about unity party, or thinking about it between old and young. They think about it, think about Trump issue. It is not about that. It is about this country. It's just that it is not something you can explain in three minutes. But we pray that one day our young people will see the right way. Because their future is at stake. Somebody is deceiving them. Nobody will give you what they don't have. The future of this country is not the other camp. It's not there. You just check the record. It's not there. Someone has said this is a war between evil and good. And I can tell you that is it. This country is at the brink. All the African leaders are watching what Liberia is doing. Even our biggest friend is watching what Liberia is doing. This time, I tell you people, it's not like the past. If you, your country run into trouble, nobody is coming. Nobody is coming. And we're not going to allow that to happen. Our women, our young people need a future. That future cannot be given by somebody who doesn't even know what the future is about. They try to tell them that enemy on this side is not true. They can show you the record of what they have done for the people of Liberia. So today we are here to thank all of you for coming. Your votes were stolen. They stole your votes. We could have won that election one round. But the fact is coming up. All of the ones they buried, the last time I was here in District 12, they demonstrated 4,000 kinds of people who did not vote because they deprived them of voting. They didn't tell them the right line until they went to the end. They said, go this way. All of that was planned to cheat, to steal this election, to deprive the Liberians. You can see what happening around the country, buried ballots. You can see what happening around. Election is a serious business. You make mistake, you put the wrong person, you have to live with it. We have had a coup, we have had war, we have had people to come and rescue us. The, the job of these people is not just to come and rescue Liberia all the time. It is for Liberia to become responsible for their country. When they turn the security over to that will keep our country safe. Today we see people driving our country to the wrong direction. Just because they have money, just because they have given me time to take money, and so they want to move the country because when the time comes, they will all disappear. They will leave the same children here in the street. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let that happen to our children. All of us here are from different, different, different places. People came down here for various reasons. If we sit down and we drag this country into another trouble, the chances are very slim that anybody will come in. You have heard the donors, when there is a disaster, they make big, big, big pledges. What percentage of that play come through? We have to be careful for the future of this country. We have too many good people here, too many intelligent young people here. 
All we need to do is to give them a chance. And that chance is in leadership. That leadership comes with the ballot you cast. They might tell you plenty, plenty things. They're trying to brainwash you. But check their record. Check where they come from. This is a solemn appeal to our young people. They have to be disloyal from these people. And you have the responsibility here to teach them the truth. Because these people are going to put our country in a place that the African region will not come. Even those people that provide resources will not be here. And since they have money, they will leave. And our country is going to be left in crisis. And this time around, you will have nowhere to go. Nobody wants refugees anywhere anymore. And we don't want our people in refugee camp. We had the opportunity to make these children good children, to give them hope. This is the chance that God has given. This election would have been stolen. It could have been won. But I'm telling people that the reason nobody won this election is to bring this country together. We always say we were not, we were not colonized, so we didn't develop. We didn't unite. God is saying this election will unite the people like you. And that's why nobody won the first round. The line is drawn between evil and good. The side you choose will determine whether this country is going to be fair. And I know you are smarter than that. God has intervened. It is time for you to decide. Nobody on the other side had I got the solution. You check their record. All of them are just being living by them, for themselves, looting the country. Then they come and tell you today they will bear your life. You have to be careful. Our children, you have to be careful. We need this country to make it respectable. What country you see 170 years, no road? You ever see country build without road? When we go to other countries, we ride, we go here, we won't go this way. It's because the people have roads. Without roads, you can't create jobs. Without roads, you can't even, medical services cannot reach the people. We are about trying to put this country on the right path for the future of our people. Don't let people fool you. The same way they were not for you yesterday, they will not be for you tomorrow. And so we are happy that we have an opportunity to educate. What our children need is to be told the right story. Corruption. You can eradicate corruption by example. You cannot preach one thing and do the other, the other thing. It got to be by example. All of us had a chance to loot this country. But what will you alone, your world will do, and all these young people need a future. If you build good society, you have good roads, you got educated people, you got people doing business, that's a security. Security is not gone. And to make the other people live a life that will improve them. People can't be clapping for you all the time because you pay two or three houses. It is because you have improved their lives. These people are growing up. They need their future. They need honest people. They need people who care for them. And is by... I, 
So today we to tell you we are I'm happy that some of the people are seeing the difference between people. How many times cost that income? But that doesn't mean anything to me. The only thing that used to make me vex is I don't like for our children, uh, women, to be listening to abuse. This is not part of our tradition. Tradition of respect. But is that, is that why you are saying about me? Is what you are imparting into the society. Today we are seeing that there are differences in people. We respect people. We want a good society. We want a society that is disciplined. A society that respects the right of other people. A society that doesn't care. Let anybody tell me here uh, who made himself Loma or Madigo? Nobody. So why do you think about whether somebody Loma or Madigo? It doesn't matter. One is we are Liberian. And this is our country. And that we all have the right to be here. But you see, God is wonderful. I'm not afraid of people because even the worst person one day later and God will speak to them and will change them because they will see the truth. So Henry Carson knows the truth now. He knows who is a good human being and who is not. What he said about us as slept, today he said about people he had to run. But God has changed him so that we can all benefit from this country. This country is very rich. The fact is that we have to invest in areas that will create jobs. You have to open up the country. You got to make sure that people ride on good roads. There are a lot of people that are willing and ready to come to Liberia to work with us. They're not going to follow those people, I can tell you. They are ready. And so you have to make that decision on November 7th when you cast that ballot. But make sure this time they don't frustrate you because the trade was sometimes they put children on the line who are not going to vote. They will delay your time, delay your time. By the time you reach the end, they say, no, you're on the wrong line, go there. But why didn't they guide you to the right one? They themselves don't know that they're cheating themselves because if this country is here, all the money you see, you can't get away. So my people, I'm telling you, we have to save this country. I don't have two passports. This is my home. I don't, have, I don't have bank account elsewhere. Because if I build this country, I can go anywhere later. That's what we should be doing. Building our country. Investing in our young people. The better educated young people we get, the better businesses that will come here. You have to have a good society to attract good business. So, we're telling you, be careful. We have too many talented young people. Save our country. Vote on that day that these people will never have a chance in this country. And you will see this country. You'll be proud of the period. Look at neighboring countries. Only 60 years ago, go look at them. Look at us. All we talk about, we're 170 years. That, that age, you're going to eat. you got to develop the country. So today, I want to go and all her club mates from all over. I was sitting now here in Germany. I said, hey, they may not sit now here. All you young girls that will be sitting by me, you can't sit down here. I want to thank all the young people here who organize themselves for this day. I want to thank you for your contribution. You build this place because 
all they go around and say the many people. That's not what I like to hear. They want to know what you can do for this country. We want to build this country so the people can respect Liberia. The people call us do not dreaming country. You know what I mean? That we are beggars. We are a begging country. Who ever got paid by begging? When you have diamond here, you have agriculture potential, you have tourism potential here, and you don't put money in it. So you beg, is that the way you're going to live? These are the areas that will create jobs and create opportunity for people. You go to school buildings where our children attend, and you go to foreign school buildings, they look different. For me, the best is for Liberians. Why will you allow foreigners to give your children better than you can give them? Those are the challenges we have. I say the line is drawn between good and evil. Do not go to CDC. They got no answer for you. Brown and Pierre, that's all. You look at it. Look at the combination. They're not long until you see the cancer chicken. Fighting for him. Importance. Stability is what we're about. We are here for peace for our people. We are here to open opportunity for our young people. And that's why we stand for. You will not hear us abuse anybody or threaten anybody because we want decency in the society. We want respect for our people. We want to build a country that other people will respect. I wish you have seen what the President of Sierra Leone wrote about. When another leader starts speaking about another country, neighboring country, you should know that they are losing respect for us. Liberia is not a country that people have lost respect for. We have to build this country for our young people, for our women, our elderly. And today is the beginning of that decision. We want to thank you for being here. All we say to all of you is not about you now. It's about these young people that you need to teach, you need to educate, because they are misguiding them. And we do not allow everybody here is important to this country. So today, we thank you for being here. We thank you for this program. And we want to see you come November 7th. I guess So that they can vote their conscience. They can vote for the candidate they want. And that's why we have written, we're taking the measures that all the cheating. You know, somebody they have learned a lot of tricks. They put dye in their head and they grab it and they take your paper and they wrap it there and they say invalid who made it invalid day so you gotta keep your eyes on that so we want to thank you thank you for being here we're going to pray that you all will be a part of and be proud of thank you for your attention thank you for our young people who are listening you have to believe honest people these people don't care for you we care for you. And we the one who can build this society. God bless you.
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the president is waiting standing all to continue on the path of peace and stability is to say no to the Congress for Dog Children. That is the CDC. The TDF for Dog, D U L L, not D O G. You got some people here, they know the difference. At the end of the program, they will try to stigmatize some of us. Or we consult our heads before making such decisions. I'm from the Labour Party and I made up my mind to choose between evil and good. To tell you that Harry Costa has been criticizing the Labour government and the ambassador for 12 good years. No one ever attacked Harry Costa. Harry Costa took two days to criticize CDC political leader. The third day, you got attacked. So to tell you that you will not get a chance of freedom and speech. To continue peace and stability, November 7th, please go and vote the Unity Party. Vote your future, vote Liberia, think Liberia, love Liberia, play Liberia. The next thing on our agenda, we will go on the chairman for the Islamic Youth for it to allege a change. Yes, honorable Mulba Gonzo, thank you. Just a short statement, you know. I just want to tell people the party, you know, our own friends, our the our panel, the Matthew Congress of Democratic CDC, and at that time, Senator Doe Sherry, she was the chairperson. You know, we were there, and we know what was going in there. When she left, and it took too long, I myself to have my baggage. I left. And the reason for our was not on the radio, it was because we were on a on the we on the flow. But was there so many things. And the last one I put up for Honorable Bernard Ure. You can see on my hand all the brand parties. That's my political party. But when this second round came up, you know, we have been discussed among ourselves. People of Iron Factory can admit it. They know me very well, the chairman. We have been discussed a lot of issues from one end to another. And we have been opposing for the initial stage, the United Party, very strongly. But when the runner came out, we said no. After com doing our own competitive analysis, we came to the realization that actually the ticket is a ticket that we should carry. So I'm encouraging all of my people from Iron Factory will we'll be having a voter training program to train our people how to vote. If you don't know how to use a pen, how to use your finger, we'll, teach, we'll be having a program in Iron Factory by the grace of God soon. And we made a national to all the communities so we can train our people how can, they can go by the election. So I thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last but not the least, that will be the bulletin by our mother, our sister, and our chief of NASA, Madam Fatu Sila. Guys, well, as this program, the program together. A couple of days ago, and we were not even sure that we we're going to have it uh, tomorrow. I mean, today. We thank God for Sima, for to see the light.
I went to you guys and I talked to you all and I agreed to come. I would like to thank all of you for being here today. And I would like to also thank the Vice President because he's very, very busy and he left all that busy, busy time to be here with us to talk to us. So I would really like to thank everybody. From here today, the, all the groups are here, we need to go by and start talking to the other people. Because believe me, if Joseph Numa Baka get there, he will make a big difference in our life. Because that's somebody that I trust. If I didn't trust him, I don't care if I made him somebody get. Because my names mean a lot to me. I won't be in front of this thing, but I have a lot of trust in him. So I would like to thank all of you from yesterday, today we've been running in and out. All those that helped me to make this thing to be successful today. I would like to thank all of you. So when we all leave from here and go, let's go talk to the other people to vote the old man in. Because believe me, if everything goes wrong in the country, I always tell people I don't live here, I'm in and out of here. So believe me, I got nothing to lose here. So you people who live in here, you need to really tie your ways for us to work for the old man to get there. Because he's somebody that got sorry for mine for people. If Joseph Bakai tell you I would do something, I would do it, he would do it. And he, he would, he, if he can't do it, he would tell you I, I can't do it. That's the kind of person that you know, I know okay. for him to be. So please, let all of us go and get out there and tell the other people. We have over 50 club member here from uh, from Carway, from Waterside, from Banasway, from Johnsonville. You are keep from different, different uh, 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 Zoom to, to be here today. So please, when we go back, let's go encourage our friends and our sister and our brother then to vote. Uh, uh, Joseph Numa Baka in because I know he will make a difference for us in the country. Yes, 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 thanks, for, thanks to everybody. Thank you, thank you. That because since this morning you left all your busy time to be here with us. Thank you. So thanks. Thank you. So you better to be a girl that you know, get it, enjoy it, have it, if you want to get it, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming, thank you for leaving your business schedule, please have a seat, we've got a special announcement, before then, the way we start and I was going to close. All the things we do here, the only result we need is to practical laughing on November 7th. Yes. Coming here, singing, laughing, all the political slogan, we're not doing nothing for all, but to realize what we have done over the past time is to go and vote November 7th. Yes. So please, from here, at least every day, make sure you tell the one or two person. Yes. You can win souls in the market, in the kitchen, because everybody gets you to listen to the radio. You can go in the market, what buy your soap, what buy your fish, your soup, talk to one or two persons so that we all can achieve what we want. Because you want a good thing. If you don't bring somebody a good thing, then you become an enemy to the person. So try by all costs to bring people on the good side. Ladies and gentlemen, we will observe Muna or Salim. Muna or Salim for religion tolerance, please. Thank you. Thank you. Please push back. Please push back. We got, we got announcement for you. But please push back. Let us know you want to go. Please push back. On this one, your journalists support you. Please push back. Please push back. I have all men to give up because I have no experience. So you will better to be a girl like you know him. Then the injury has been seen. Please push back. Please push back.